ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for this Wednesday, February 10th, 2016, Ash Wednesday. Well, that means the beginning of Lent today for people like myself who are Catholic. 40 days and 40 nights. All right. Time to get things going with the first four contestants that were called to come on down. And they were. Sean Boykin. Kara Stout. Janice Record, And Matthew Flowers. And the model who gave Drew the mic at the handoff today was Sports Guy 528's favorite model, the gorgeous Gwendolyn Osborne Smith. And speaking of Gwendolyn, she was the model who had the first item up for bids on the turntable, which was a 27 inch Apple iMac desktop computer. Janice was the winner by bidding $1,725. The actual retail price, $1,999. She beat out Sean's $2,100, Cara's $1,200, and Matthew's $2,101. Now, we found out that Janice actually appeared on The Price is Right back in 1983. Well, a little bit of a... A little bit of a, well, I got a little ahead of myself there. That was revealed during the Showcase show now. But um, Janice is a former Price is Right contestant back in the good old days of Bob Barker. And now for Janice, she was going to have a chance to win a Bowflex trainer, a Fitso, Fitso monthly deliveries of $300 fitness clothing for a year, and a zeal free massage and zeal free massages once per month for a year with one robe and massage table included. So this was an like a a home gym that Janice was playing for. It was all modeled by the awesome Amber Lancaster. And it was a prize worth seven thousand one hundred and sixty two dollars. Janice was playing money seventy three 73's favorite pricing game, Cliffhangers. Gwendolyn was over by the three small prizes. And they were a Conair facial sauna, an Oster rice cooker, and a Remington hair dryer. First for the facial sauna, Janice believed the price was $26. Was she right? No, she wasn't. So Hans started his climb up the mountain. One. And he only went to step one. Wow. Janice missed the price by one dollar. The actual retail price, twenty-five dollars. All right. Now for the rice cooker. Uh, Janice believed the price of it was thirty-nine dollars. Was she right? No, she wasn't. So, Hans started to climb again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Hans stopped on step number eight. That meant Janice missed the price of the rice cooker by seven dollars. Gwendolyn revealed the price to be thirty-two dollars. So, so far Hans took eight steps safely. He could move 17 more steps safely as long as Janice did not miss the price of that hair dryer by more than 
She believed the price of it was $32. Was she right? No, she wasn't. So, that hair dryer had to be at least $15, but no more than $49. Let's see what happened. Resuming from step 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And after step number 24, Hans stopped! Oh, with just one dollar left to spare. The price of the hair dryer was $48, and Janice won her prize package. And um, including her one bid, she currently won $9,266 in prizes. What a great start. was the next contestant to come on down. The next item up for bids was four WM, WMF casserole dishes modeled by Amber, who is still wearing her fitness clothes. Carl was the winner by bidding $701. The actual retail price, $825. She beat out Katie's $700, Matthew's $600, and Sean's $425. And we found out that Kara is from Tampa, Florida. And she was going to have a chance to win not one, not two, but three prizes. They were a side-by-side -side refrigerator that was modeled by... Gwendolyn was from Samsung. Next was a Burberry leather rubber and suede shoe collection. Included a pair of rain boots, two pairs of booties, and two pairs of heels modeled by Amber. And third was a foosball table from Garlando. That was also modeled by Amber. And the game for Kara was easy as one, two, three. Amber brought over the blocks to Kara and Drew. Kara placed block number one on the foosball table, believing that was the least expensive prize. Then she placed block number two on the Burberry shoe collection, believing that was the second least expensive. And therefore she placed block number three on the refrigerator, believing that was the most expensive prize. Now, a part of me felt that was the right way to go, but seeing as Burberry was the designer brand, it got me a little worried. But let's see how Kara did. First, Amber revealed the price of the foosball table, and it was $1,159. Now, Gwendolyn revealed the price of the Burberry shoes, and they turned out to be... $3,340. Oh, boy. That refrigerator had to be more than $3,340 in order for Kara to win all three prizes. And when Gwendolyn revealed the price of the refrigerator, it turned out to be... $2,399. So the foosball table was the least expensive 
Then it should have been the ref- then it should have been the refrigerator, and then the designer shoes. Ah, uh, done in by Burberry once again. David Jacobs was the next contestant to come on down, and the next item up for bids was a 64 gig Microsoft Surface tablet with a multi-position kickstand, a type cover, and stylus pen included. Modeled by Gwendolyn, who I believe brought it to contestants' row. David was the winner by bidding five fifty. Actual retail price six seventy nine. He beat out Katie's eight fifty, Matthew's twelve hundred, and Sean's one dollar. Now for David, he was going to be playing for a new car! And it was a 2016 Ford Fiesta SC that came equipped with a 1.6 liter engine, 6-speed automatic transmission, remote keyless entry, plus paint and fabric protection. It's the Ford Fiesta SE, modeled by Amber. And the game for David was one away. Gwendolyn was in charge of changing the numbers. The wrong price for this Ford Fiesta was $27,674. David chose the 2 to be a 1 and not a 3, the 7 to be an 8 and not a 6, the 6 to be a 7 and not a 5, the 7 to be a 6 and not an 8, and the 4 to be a 3 and not a 5. During his choices, he said he wasn't going to listen to the audience. And he's and he's really right in a way, because the contestant makes the decisions, not the audience. They're, they're only to help, you know. So $18,763 was the price David believed uh, that Ford Fiesta SC was. Now it was time to ask the Mighty Sound Effects Lady. Oh, Mighty Sound Effects Lady, did David have at least... One number right? David had at least one number right. Oh, mighty sound effects lady. Did David have at least two numbers right? David had at least two numbers right. Oh, mighty sound effects lady. Did David have at least three numbers right? No. David had two numbers right. The three numbers that David chose to have changed were the 7 to become a 5, the 6 to be an 8, and the 3 to be a 5. So he changed the last three numbers. So he believed that Ford Fiesta SC was $18,585. Drew mentioned that the audience was chanting 8 to a 6. Well, let's see if that cost David or not. All right, for the first number, was that a one? Absolutely. Now for the second number. Was that an eight? No! It was a six. And the remaining three numbers were five, eight, and three. $16,583 $16,583 was the actual retail price. He had the 1 and the 3 right from before, but it was the 8, the 7, and 6 that David should have changed. Just a reminder that the Price is Right Play at Home game winner currently is Lou Ventrice D. of Gary, Indiana. To play the Price is Right Play at Home game, call one 855 price And you can win $1,000 cash. Closed captioning for the first half of The Price is Right was paid for in part by Mesobook.com. And now, showcase showdown number one. David spun the wheel first. And in his first spin, he got 75 cents. David chose to stay. Kara spun next. In her first spin, she got 60 cents. In her second spin, she had to get at least 15, but no more than 40. She got 
45 cents for a total of a dollar five. And Carl went over by a nickel. Janice spun last. In her first spin, she got 35 cents. In her second spin, she had to get at least 40, but no more than 65. And she landed on 20 cents for a total of 55 cents. That wasn't enough to defeat David's 75 cents. And that meant David was headed to the showcase. For full episodes online, in case you missed any episodes of The Price is Right on TV as of late, go to CBS.com. Lucky for me, I have a DVR now. Tarina Thomas was the next contestant to come on down. The next item up for bids was a Porsamo Blue, were Porsamo Blue his and her watches. And they were modeled by... Well, they were brought down from the jewelry elevator, I believe. Sean was the winner by bidding $1,600. Actual retail price, $2,150. He beat out Tarina's $1,250, Katie's $900, and Matthew's $500. Sean, who was wearing a Lakers jersey, although we found out he is from New York 87's home state of Wisconsin, was going to be playing for... A Polaris 550 Indy 144 ES snowmobile that was modeled by Gwendolyn. The game for Sean was freeze frame. And when Sean froze the price inside the frame, he pulled the lever at this price. $6,731. And when the actual retail price of the snowmobile flipped down, it turned out to be... $7,399. Ah, uh, bummer. Ronald Des Rosiers was the next contestant to come on down. The next item up for bids was on the Price is Right train. Engineered by Gwendolyn, and Amber was modeling um, a Mancini luggage collection. Uh, Matthew was the winner by bidding fourteen oh one actual retail price one thousand four twenty. He beat out Ronald's twelve fifty nine, Tarina's thirteen seventy five, and Katie's fourteen hundred dollars. And for Matthew, he had a chance to win now two prizes. They were a trip to Monument Valley, Utah, and a trip to Lake Ontario, New York. Uh, for Monument Valley, it's round trip coach from Los Angeles to Flagstaff, Arizona, and then on to Monument Valley via rental car for a five-night stay at the View Hotel, daily breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a $1,000 trading post shopping credit included, modeled by Amber. And second was a trip to Lake Ontario, which is in Hilton, New York, round trip coach from Los Angeles to Rochester, and then on to Hilton in a rental car. For a five-night stay in a premium suite at the Braddock Point Lighthouse. Daily breakfast included, modeled by Gwendolyn. The game for Matthew? One right price. Both Amber and Gwendolyn held the one right price of $5,448. Matthew believed the trip to Monument Valley had the one right price of $5,448. So, when Amber took 5448 and placed it on the trip to Monument Valley, she revealed the actual retail price of that trip to Monument Valley to be... 5448 Matthew won both trips. The trip to uh, New York was 6797 
And that was a grand total of $12,245 in prizes right there. And including his one bid prize, Matthew currently won $13,665 in prizes. All right, Amanda Bobrinsky was the last contestant to come on down. And the last item up for bids was a Pentax 20 megapixel SLR camera with one tripod and lighting kit included. That was modeled by Amber and, uh, Amber and Wendell. The winner of that prize was Katie, who bid 951 Actual retail price, $1,039. She beat out Amanda's $950, Ronald's $779, and Tarina's $800. We learned that Katie is from the state of Indiana. And she was now going to be playing for a new car! And it was a 2016 Kia Forte LX. They came equipped with a 1.8 liter engine, 6 speed automatic transmission, plus popular plus package. It's the Kia Forte modeled by Gwendolyn. A prize worth $19,925. Katie played Let Em Roll. Amber was over by the three grocery products. They were a 40 count pack of Vanity Fair napkins, a 28 ounce bottle of Pine Sol Multi Surface Cleaner and a 10-ounce carton of Milk Duds. First, Amber revealed the price of the napkins to be $3.49. Katie believed the price of the cleaner was higher than $3.49. But she was wrong. It was lower. It was $2.29. Now for the price of the Milk Duds. Katie believed the price of them were higher than $2.29. And they were. They were three twenty nine. dollars So she got a total of two rolls. One free roll and one earned roll. For her first roll, Katie got... Can you believe this? Five cars! She got all five cars in her first roll! How about that? Oh my god! Katie won the car in epic fashion! Awesome! And according to GoldenRoad.net, the last time a contestant rolled five cars on their first try was July 4th, 2012. Independence Day. Oh, amazing! Katie won herself a new car, and including her one bid prize, she currently won 20964 in prizes. Way to go. Amazing. Closed captioning for the second half of The Price is Right was paid for in part by Cora Seed and HBP and Pure Silk Shave Cream. Now on to Showcase Showdown number two. Sean spun first. In his first spin, he got 55 cents. He chose to spin again. In his second spin, he got 60 cents for a total of $1.15. Sean went over. Matthew spun next. In his first spin, he got 80 cents. Matthew chose to stay. And then it was Katie's turn to spin. In her first spin, she got 85 cents. And Katie was headed to the showcase. What a day she's had so far. She won the car in just one roll and let them roll. And now, she's headed to the showcase. The top winner today was Katie, and the runner-up was David. Showcase number one, the theme was In Charge. It included a trip to the Bahamas for a six-night super-inclusive stay at Breeze's Resort and Spa, modeled by Amber. And second was a WWP 15-foot premium sailboat with trailer included modeled by Gwendolyn. Katie chose to pass that showcase to David, and David bid $21,185. Showcase number two, 
the theme was snow. And it all began with a Sony 55-inch 4K Ultra HD TV and a 500 gig Sony PS4 game package. Two wireless controllers, camera, and five games. All modeled by Gwendolyn. Second was a trip to Reykjavik, Iceland that included a full day glacier hike. That was also modeled by Gwendolyn. And last but not least was a trip to Mauritius which is on the east of Madagascar. It included a quad bike safari tour modeled by Amber. Katie bid $24,015. And when the show came back from its final commercial break, it was time for the showcase reveal. Drew went to David first. David bid $21,185. Actual retail price? $25,991. A difference of $4,806. Over to Katie now. She paid $24,015. Actual retail price. $27,275. For a difference of $3,260. Katie won her showcase. And boy, what a day she had. She ended up winning a grand total of $48,239 in prizes. Congrats, Katie. So today, our three wins were in cliffhangers, one right price, and let them roll. The MVPs of the Price is Right are Janice, Matthew, and Katie. Yeah, this was a pretty good show today. So, uh, uh, BJMTV Canada's own Ben Mason didn't supply me with any acknowledgments. So, now for the sponsor. The Price is Right Price Game Recap this week is sponsored by Old World Style Ragu Marinara Sauce. What will happen tomorrow on The Price is Right? I'll watch the show, then I'll have the recap. Thank you for inviting me onto your devices. Until tomorrow, don't forget to help control the pet population by having your pets spayed or neutered. This is Mr. Horgan saying, good night, everyone.